So these guys are ready to move to the new paddock. And now I will fence across here so they can't come back to this paddock. They were in that paddock over there. They've had two days in here. Now they're going to be two days in there. Marco Polo is going like, uh, I missed something. Poor old man, he's getting very old. We'll soon have um, Daisy Rose will soon come in here and keep him company. But see, I will have to bring this across so that the horses, you can see there are bits of manure are everywhere and dung beetles. There's evidence of dung beetles. You can see that hole right there, dung beetle. And this is fresh manure and you can see the golden flies in it. Those are the golden flies. They don't bother livestock. They just help feed the birds. They eat dung and feed the birds. So these are all going to be recycled into the grassland. Now, Marco Polo, come on. You've got to get on the other side of the fence. Go on, old man. Come on. There we go. Brindle, leave it. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl for doing nothing. Okay, so now I have to fence the fence them off. Ah ah! Good girl. Good girl. So now you can see the dogs are in the paddock with the fresh horse manure from the last two days and the horses can't go back there. So that gives the field recovery time all the way across that bit of land. And they'll be here for two or three days. There's plenty of grazing in here. You can see there's all kinds of different grasses. There's this is yarrow. Um, this is coxfoot. This is, uh, oh, I can't remember. This is a meadow. This might be a meadow fescue. So there's all kinds of things. Yes, there's buttercups, which horses don't eat, but that's okay. Um, there is thistles, which the horses will eat the tops off of. Uh, what else is there here? There's all, a whole variety of different grasses. See if I pick that grass and that grass, you've got two different grass heads there. And that's with hardly looking. There's, here's a, uh, another grass. So that's three different grass heads. And these horses will be fine in a small paddock for three days and then they probably won't be on this paddock again for this year potentially uh, as long as I keep paddock grazing them through all of our fields. There's even one field they haven't even been to in three years because in paddock grazing I haven't gotten that far in my rotation. So here we go, done. Job done for the horses at the moment. Now, I don't turn the electric on yet because herself, come on, has to come over the gate. And these guys come under. You coming, Inca? Come on. Come on, Ink. You staying under there. And 
I turn on my solar powered electric fencing unit. Are you coming? Come on. Come on. What are you doing? Are you coming? There you go, you clever pup. Aren't you so clever? Yeah. Yeah. Here are some of the apple trees that I planted recently. Here's another one there, one here, another there. So we planted about a half dozen apple trees this year. Let's see, right here, there's another apple tree. And there's another apple tree. And here's another apple tree. And I think this is the seventh apple tree. So these are grafts. Grafted apple trees done by my friend Stuart. And this one is a something cooker. I can't read your writing, Stuart. It's a something cooker. Anyway, that will grow into a beautiful apple tree under all these scrub plums. So they'll, they're sheltered, but they will grow given time.